Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Grayson Tate, and I just started doing YouTube for the first time this year, and I've reviewed a bunch of products in the half a year I've been posting videos. So today, I actually took a subscriber's advice, and I'm going to re-review products that I have. I'm gonna update you guys on products that I've changed my opinion on, or ones I'm still using, or just like updates that I have, especially because you guys have requested some of them a bunch of times. So I figured instead of waiting until the end of the year, we get into it now. Okay, the first product that I wanna update you guys on is actually one of my most popular videos, and it's on the Beast Mini Blender. And you guys loved this video because everybody loves this product or is really interested in it. And I'm here to report, I still love it and I highly recommend it. I use this blender basically multiple times, if not at least once a week. It is so easy to clean. It is so simple. It looks great. It's easy to get in and out of my cabinet. And the vessels themselves that you blend in, you can store. For example, I make my salad dressing every single week, almost always, and I use the small blending vessel to do so. What's great is that it comes with this handle and top, so it's super easy for me to dispense it and use it when I have my salads. So if anything, the Beast Mini is the perfect size. I have never regretted not getting the bigger size. In fact, I think I'm actually going to buy more of the blending vessels in different sizes, so that way I can store more things once I've blended them in the actual container. And I can throw the different parts in the dishwasher so that way cleanup is super easy which makes me use it a lot more often which I just absolutely love. Also for a lot of people who have asked, the Mini is on sale apparently at Costco at Container Store and on Amazon and a lot of times Amazon has a sale so I would check there first because you probably won't find a sale on the actual Beast website. One thing to know, I was experiencing a little bit of a weird sound when I was using the Mini, and after about a week or so it went away. My only assumption was that I wasn't tightening the base enough, so the piece that actually rotates the blade I think was vibrating a little bit, but now it stopped doing that. I've also noticed that you really do need to use enough liquid to blend the material, otherwise it's going to get stuck and just keep spinning and create a little vacuum. Okay, next up is actually the Hitch water bottle. Now, most of you that have subscribed probably have not seen this video because I think it was the second or third video I ever posted, and it wasn't very good and it was very short. Long story short, the Hitch water bottle at the time was great. This design is very interesting because you have a water bottle and then at the bottom you have a separate cup for coffee that you can attach to the top. Now in theory this is a great design and a great idea but the main issue and an issue that a subscriber recently pointed out to me it's just too heavy. Like this is only 18 ounces I think this is like 10 or 12 ounces and together, both of the pieces are just really heavy, which makes me not want to use it very often, especially because the water section is not really that big. I normally take a 32 or 40 ounce water bottle around with me, and I felt like I was just filling this up a ton. One of my subscribers that left a comment the other day mentioned that this cup actually started to leak on them, so they couldn't put it in their bag. I've never had that issue, and if you do, I suggest reaching out to Hitch. But in general, I think this was like 70 bucks, and I waited like three years from... A Kickstarter campaign and I just don't know if it was worth the wait. I wish that they could find a way to make it lighter or thinner or more useful because unless you're just going to be sitting at your desk all day and not really drinking water, I would not really suggest this anymore. Next up is the Lofty Alarm Clock. Now the Lofty Alarm Clock is also one of my really well-viewed videos. I think because the alarm clock is very interesting. I will say I used it a bunch for a couple of years, then I stopped using it and then I was using it again for the review and I've gone back to not using it. I've actually replaced this with my HomePod mini and my iPhone on my nightstand. I already had a HomePod mini, so I can use it to play night sounds at night and set an alarm, and I can use it for my smart home and it doesn't have a screen, so it's not very distracting. On the flip side, for my nightstand, now if you charge your iPhone horizontally, it'll actually display a clock that you can customize with whatever you want, which has come in really handy because I already need to charge my phone. I will say I'm pretty good at not using my phone before bed, so if you are not that person, this might not be the solution for you, but in general, I would go and refer back to my Lofty video because I really get into like the very specific cons of the device and the pros. I still think it's a great clock. I just don't think it's great enough for me to keep using it. And so I just stopped. Okay, next up is the Aura Ring. Now, the Aura Ring was very cool. It is a super impressive piece of tech because they were able to fit so much technology in such a tiny little ring. 
My issue is one, I don't like wearing a ring and two for strength training. It's just not a good fitness tracker. You can't really wear it on your hands. And if you do, it actually kind of hurt my finger. And because of its position and the way you're doing the exercises, it just doesn't really get enough useful data. This is on top of, which I've noticed is a growing trend in tech, buying really expensive tech items. And then the company needs you to continue to spend money. So they add a service charge or like a subscription on top of it to keep the revenue coming in which I think is crazy because that ring is like $400 and then they want you to pay $6 a month for useful metrics for like the rest of your life, which I was just not into the idea of adding another subscription on top of the things I already pay for. So for me, I went ahead and sent it back. I think if you're looking for help with just really minimal activity tracker that was really good at tracking cardio, it's the ring for you. I think that if you are interested in a sleep tracker that's really minimal, it's the ring for you. I think if you are trying to track your menstruation cycles and menstruation health, it is definitely a helpful ring, especially if you are trying to get pregnant or pregnant. But for me, that's none of those things really describe me, so I just don't really use it anymore, and so I returned it. Okay, let's talk about the Palma. I think the Palma is my most viewed YouTube video, or if it's not, it's close because that device is so cool and interesting and cute. It's just a tiny e-reader. And I said in the video, I think I'm more a Kindle person because of the size and the ecosystem. I would love, love, love for Amazon to make a mini Kindle, but the Palma was $300 and so it was definitely a luxury buy and it wasn't useful enough for me because at the end of the day, I was only using it to read. If I'm going to get a device, like an e-ink device that is small, I want something that fits in my hand and my hand is small. So it just wasn't exactly the right fit, but that is not to say it will not be the right fit for you. People are obsessed with that device. And ever since I did that review, I get comments on it almost every day, if not every week. And other tech reviewers have found it and talked about it a lot. So it's very much a very interesting and unique device which I think is really fun. On the flip side though, when it's so expensive, it really is something you have to figure out if you want. And for me, it just didn't fit the bill enough. Okay, Papa Tui, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's skincare and hair care line, which after I did that review, I didn't even think about the fact that that man is bald. So the fact that he was making skincare hair care is kind of random. And I also was using two-in-one shampoo conditioner for a while, which was kind of a crazy idea of mine. I will say that my review of Papa Tui in general still stands. I use the entire face wash and face moisturizer, love those products. And I'm actually still working my way through the body lotion. I completely use the body wash, love that. I use most of the shampoo and conditioner and then I switch back to a normal shampoo and conditioner that's not a two-in-one. So that was fine. The deodorant wasn't really for me and all of the other products were all fine. So I'd say once again, for the price and especially for a guy in your life, it is still very much a good buy. Okay, the Surrey toothbrush. Love this thing, still love this thing. A couple of things have changed. I mean, it's still as durable as it was. It's the Huzzle paint chips on the bottom, but now it's available on Amazon and the replacement brush heads are available on Amazon. So I just bought replacement brush heads. They come in a pack of three for $18 and then you can send the old brush head back to the company so they can responsibly recycle it. And so far the battery is held up. The case while not having a battery is still helpful when I travel to keep my toothbrush separate. I still keep it on my sink every single night because it still looks nice and it's very minimal. And for an electric toothbrush, I think it's really sleek and minimal, which I really appreciate. And the power that I get from it definitely leaves my mouth and my teeth feeling very clean, which obviously is like the primary goal. So if you're looking at this, I would still really suggest it. And now, especially since it's on Amazon, the chances are you will find it on sale and it comes in four different colors. And for yourself or for somebody else, it is still like a great gift. Definitely love it. Actually from a subscriber, I did get a tip that when you remove the mirror mount that it comes with that's magnetic that will stick to your mirror, you should actually use heat and just peel it off and it should come off really easily because it's 3M adhesive. I did not do that, so I destroyed that adhesive and threw away the mount because I was confused. So I've actually ordered a new mirror mount so that way I can just leave it up and away from everything else. And it's so pretty, I really don't mind doing that. So also thanks to my subscribers. You guys leave the best comments and the most detailed responses, which I read every single thing I love it. A lot of times I'll respond to you guys, especially if you have a question. So if you haven't, subscribe, leave a comment, say hi. I really just do YouTube for fun. And I think I'm going to do, start doing some new different types of videos in the future. And I would love to have you join that party. Okay, let's talk about the Cadence capsules, which I've actually really been wanting to update you guys on because I said in my original review that I was going on a long two week Europe trip and I was taking the capsules with me. 
I took them with me. I survived the trip, barely, and the capsule survived the trip, and they were super, super helpful. And I've got a couple things I want to know. So number one is the capsules just have a learning curve. I haven't seen anybody comment this directly on my video, but it's something I've noticed. When you use one of the capsules, they're really easy to fill and handle, and they're magnetic, and they just fit so much in a small amount of space, which I love. The thing to know, especially if you're using like a liquid, when you open them and you want to pour some out, it's really easy to pour too much out. So I've gotten into a habit of actually pouring out a little and kind of like wiping it on my hand as I pour it out. So then that way I can stop the flow and then I keep more in the capsule. It's a small thing, but like I'm a detail oriented person and I always put a lot of effort into things. So I don't mind doing it. But if you're just looking for like the most simple squeeze tube, this probably is not the option for you. Also, the colors that they have come in and out of stock frequently. They're very popular products and most of their colors are actually seasonal. So if there's a color that you want, get it. I recently just got two new ones. They're the summer colors. It's Sherbert and Melon, I think is what they're called. And I actually had an issue with one of my capsules. So I, as a gift, the very first time I ever got these, I got the yellow capsule as a part of a set. And it's the small one and I used it a bunch and I used it on my trip. And then out of nowhere, I started noticing that what is really hard to close and it wasn't exactly lining up and I can't get it to close without really forcing it anymore. Now, they don't have this yellow capsule in stock, but I reached out to support and I was like, hey, I'm having this problem. They are asking me to send it back. They asked me to send photos. And before I've even done that, they actually went ahead and refunded. <laughs> They actually went ahead and refunded the part of the order that had this, so I got the money back from this capsule. And they offered to send me a new one and a replacement secondary one for the troubles. The reason why they asked me to send the yellow one back is so they can figure out what went wrong and if they need to change something in their manufacturing process. And I really appreciate it. I got two capsules out of it, which I didn't even expect. And that's honestly the reason why I decided to pick up the summer colors because I needed two medium ones. I love these colors and I know with Cadence, once colors come out, they probably won't come back. So I figured why not? And I love supporting the company. The only two things that I kind of need to figure out, well, one is they just don't have many warm colors. And right now all of the colors I have are basically cool tones. So I would love some warm colors to like complete my rainbow. And the second thing is I always get the capsules with the tiles empty and blank. I want to be able to change around what I put in different capsules. And while you can get replacement tiles, when you get limited edition colors, you cannot buy a tile for that color in the future unless they have some in stock, I guess, for emergencies. So if I were to get this engraved with like body wash, it's always gonna be body wash. So I would rather just use actual like a label maker myself and label the bottoms. I just need to figure out which labels will stick to these and not interfere with the magnets stacking on top of each other. Okay, we've got two different things left and the next one is actually Trader Joe's skincare. Now this video didn't do very well and I think I posted it at a weird time, but I went and I reviewed Trader Joe's skincare for a couple of weeks because it's really affordable and I shop at Trader Joe's every week, so I figured why not. Quick update, most of the products I tried were good. The ones I didn't like, I took back, I don't like them. All of the products that I ended up liking, I have kept and used. The one that I'm actually working my way through is the all-in-one facial cleanser. It's kind of my backup cleanser, so it's taking me a while to go through this one. The two products that I'm actually constantly repurchasing now is the face sunscreen and the body sunscreen. And both of them are actually really well reviewed by Consumer Reports, and they're just really cheap. So for the performance and the value that I get, I keep repurchasing them when I get my groceries, and it's just been great. I highly recommend them. They're easy to find, and sometimes you can actually find Trader Joe's products on Amazon. I'm not sure how that happens, but I'm pretty sure the skincare and specifically the sunscreen is one of those products you could probably find. Okay, we're finally at the end, and this is the last update I have to give you. The Sonos Ace. Now, the Sonos Ace, I really love the design. I love Sonos as a company, even though the app right now is still a total mess. But the main reason why that I actually ended up returning these, which I'm pretty sure I said I was going to do in my review, they just get way too hot on me, and there was a hissing cup in the right ear that was pretty hard to ignore. With the heat issue and the hissing in the right cup, these are $400. They are a luxury buy, and at that price, I really don't want to have to compromise on like the comfort and daily wear of headphones, especially because the headphone space is really saturated and I could probably find a better fit. 
I'm actually waiting for hopefully Apple to update the AirPods Maxes to a second generation with a few minor updates because when I've used those headphones and put them up against current headphones, they still sound amazing. And now I just really appreciate the simplicity and the interconnectivity of Apple devices. So I'm really, really hoping that they update the Maxes. There's not really a sign that they will or won't, but there's some rumors that I think that they will. So that is my update review on all of the reviews I've done so far that deserve an update. I really hope you guys liked this video. I've seen a lot of comments asking me questions and I just wanted to address everything at once. Um, and if there's a product that you thought was interesting that you wanna see the review for, just click on my channel. You can see all of the reviews there. And if you guys have any other products or video ideas, please let me know. I think I wanna do some more fun, different videos and I actually have a really big project in the works for you guys. So if you want to see what happens, stick around, leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Let's see how many times I can say you guys. <laughs> Bye.